Hello my dear friends, how are you today? Thank you for joining me in today's video. Look at this beautiful place. Guess where am I? Hmm? Think, think. Alright, I'm going to tell you now. I'm back in Mexico. Mexico. I'm so happy to be here again. It's been many years. It feels great to be back with my family. It feels great to see childhood friends, university friends. It's it's a good time to to rest after all the hard times that you you also um you also saw. <laughs> Anyway, in today's video I'm going to show you some beautiful memories uh, from London. I'm going to share some personal thoughts and also I'm going to show you some, uh, I don't know, some funny parts of some Bollywood movies because going to the UK was also highly inspired by these movies. I wanted to see with my own eyes some places I saw in these movies. I hope you liked today's video and well, in the upcoming ones I'm going to show you things from Mexico. I hope you like them. Okay? I hope you enjoy. Bye bye! Bye! My journey to London started in Guangzhou. From there I took a flight to Beijing, then to Brussels and finally to the United Kingdom. These are some scenes from the flight from Guangzhou to Beijing. We were blessed with a very beautiful sunset. In today's video I will only show you the part from London and in the next one I'm going to show you about the beautiful memories in Leicester as my British friends call it I can't deny those moments I was feeling very anxious scared too because it was the first time getting out of my comfort zone, you could say. I was getting out of the bubble after many years, so I didn't know what I'm going to find out. When I reached uh, London, I was very, very tired. I also uh, encountered the challenge to learn how to buy a underground ticket. It was very hard and I had a lot of problems since the machines were not in a very good condition, to be honest. But anyway, at the end I, uh, at the end I got it, so I could go from the airport to my hotel. I was so happy to see the underground with my own eyes because I remember a lot this movie Til Vale Dolhanian Lejaenge where Kajol is traveling and I was like oh my god this is the place this is the place where these actors were I was so so happy to ex being, uh, experiencing such moments when I reached my hostel I was very tired and also I was very dirty so I took a long shower, took a nap and at the, in the night I decided to explore a little bit I was about to meet a friend but since I had time I said why not let me see with my own eyes the Big Ben and the London Eye so I got, went to a subway station and to my surprise it was really crowded, 
very very lively and I was so so happy so I just decided to walk around and try to find the Big Ben I was also extremely surprised to see the multicultural atmosphere in this place people from everywhere all kinds of languages being spoken I could hear Spanish, Italian, English, Hindi, etc. So when I kept walking, I reached the travel car square. I was like, oh my god, I saw this place in this other movie, Jap Takajan, if I am not wrong, with Shahrukh Khan and. Um, What's her name? Oh, I forgot right now. <laughs> But yes, this other beautiful actress, Katrina Kev, I just remember. Katrina. So, these are some scenes from the song Challa, where he's playing his guitar, uh, making people happy with his music. I was really, really surprised to, to reach this spot since it was not in my plan I was like wow I'm here when Shahrukh was recording that video such a blessed time <laughs> really um, unplanned really <laughs> surprising ah, beautiful memories so I kept walking admiring the architecture admiring the atmosphere I really liked the weather it was not really really cold compared to Beijing so it was it was good so happy <laughs> so excited that first day in London was going pretty well or I could say first night in London ah <sighs> I also, I was not as expecting too much my only goal that day was to find a big pen and at the end I found it oh, so beautiful so shocking, I didn't know it was this big this, this big I think I spent maybe an hour there <laughs> just taking photos and admiring the architecture watching the people passing by and by the time I reached this spot I saw this subway Westminton and I realized I could have reached this place easily but since I was new in the city I didn't know that day my maps were not working properly so when I was uh, on this journey to, to find this place my map stopped working I got a little scared I didn't know what to do but I heard someone speaking in Spanish so then I asked that person how to reach that person told me uh, another subway station so that's why I got a little far away but it was okay I realized that in moments when your gadgets are not working properly we shouldn't uh, freak out there's always a solution always a solution to any kind of problem so there I was <laughs> reaching my goal this beautiful spot watching the Big Ben and also watching the London Eye honestly I couldn't believe I was there I never planned it never planned it in my life to, to be here but here I was I took really a lot a lot of photographs while I was there there was a moment 
when the pig pen started to ring its iconic bells. <laughs> It was great to hear it with my own ears. It was great. So many things for the first time. I was so happy. So I was there in a Friday night. You can imagine how lively it was. I was wondering if it's the same lively in other days. I was having the real British experience. I saw these iconic red buses with two floors. Ah, just blissful time. When I was there, I started to get hungry, so I got myself a snack, a delicious hot dog. And then I saw the clock. I had time before I, I met meet my friend. So I decided to walk to the Buckingham Palace. My maps were working again, thank God. So it showed me the way to go to this place. So there I was, walking to this, to this place. I also spotted these iconic telephone cabins. A lot of people was taking pictures there. I took one picture myself as well because why not and then after walking a long time I saw this beautiful medallion on the floor dedicated to Princess Diana oh I got got very excited and I was thinking this is a place this is a place where where she was, where she walked, not only her, but Her Majesty the Queen and uh, the princesses, the prince, and now their new king, Charles. Just so happy to be there and I was feeling very honored as well. I walked around, I found a lot of people taking pictures as well. And I was wondering, where is the royal family right now? I was wondering if they are right there in that palace or if they are somewhere else. I don't know. I just let my imagination fly and try to guess where they might be. I was also imagining how this place might look like during a royal event full of people with the with the cars pulled by horses passing by with the royal family members I was thinking it might be a lifetime experience and I was hoping I can come back someday and experience it um, myself being here when they are passing by and just shout to them, oh, long life to the king. So there I was, admiring also the architecture and sneaking uh, my camera a little bit inside the, the doors. When I saw the clock, at that time I was thinking it's time to go. Time to, to go to see my friend. So then I had to walk a long way back. But I passed by around some nice streets. I took more pictures. The architecture was simply great. And at the end, I made it to Canary Wharf Station. When I reached that point, I was like, oh my goodness another place uh, show, show, it, show it in some movies in this movie Jap Hejan again with my love Shahrukh Khan 
I was really so happy to be passing by, uh, passing by all these spots sh uh, shown in these Bollywood movies. <sighs> ah, because in that movie, that area was looking so great. So I was like, finally, I'm getting to see it. Canary Wharf was very beautiful with a lot of beautiful buildings. Well, that day passed by and the next day in the morning I had my train to Leicester. I went to the station St. Pacras International and I got lost a little bit. When I reached the top I saw this beautiful dome with a lot of um, statues and, and again I was like I have seen these planes in the movies so I was so excited to be in all these places Shah Rukh Khan was <laughs> I, I really like that combination between ancient and new you yeah. Ancient and new. I reached quite early because I was thinking if I get lost, at least I have time, which happened. I got lost, but thank God I found my way. And I was waiting there and I saw a lot of pigeons. <laughs> a lot, a lot of pigeons. I'm not scared of them, but since there were many of them, to be honest, I got a little bit scared because I have heard experiences from other people where they pull on you so I didn't want that to happen to me the time came and I boarded my train to Leicester I got the first class um, ticket See, because I was carrying this too heavy uh, luggage so I wanted to relax I wanted to have a sort of relaxing experience and the economic um, economy ticket uh, in the economy side there was a lot of people quite crowded so I didn't want to struggle when we were on our way to Leicester I also admire the beautiful gorgeous gorgeous view simply breathtaking with a lot of sheep, horses and it reminded me of um, this TV series um, it is called All Creatures Big and Small something like that it's a very beautiful one and it's also happening in uh, United Kingdom <sighs> the installations were quite good and at the end I reached my destination the beautiful Leicester wait for the next video bye